Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hi. Hi, Luis. Are you feeling better? Uh, I'm not quite well. But oh, I'm sorry. I listen attentively. Okay. okay. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. I, I hope you feel better. Estoy sudando. Is it, I'm sweating. I'm sweating. Okay. <laughs> okay, well, okay. everybody, um, welcome to this new class. Today we have Claudia Iraeta, Jenny Sanchez, there's uh, Rufino Amilcar, Luis Enriquez, Gladys Campos, Sonia, Michelle, Estela, and Luis. Okay, a lot of people are connected from the beginning. That's a good thing. Okay, so just let me begin. All right, I'm going to share the screen with you. Just give me a second. Okay, everybody, can you see the screen I'm sharing? Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. Yes, teacher. Thank you. Um, well, um, yesterday and the day before yesterday, we were studying a very interesting topic, which is the models. Okay, we were talking about models. And uh, we said that there are models about possibility and certainty. What about the models of possibility? Which are they? Or what are they? Quales son? What are the models of possibility? May. May is one, another one? Might. Might. Might, maybe. And? There's may, might, and there's another one. Could. Could, that's right. So we use may, might, or could to express that something is possible. Very good. All right. And uh, also yesterday, we studied two more models. Do you remember them? Most and can't. Must and can't, correct. When do we use must? Or what do we use must for? Mm -hmm. When suggested? For suggestions. Mm -hmm. mm, oh, no. Not exactly, no, it's a bit different. But thank you. Uh, Jenny wants to participate. Uh, we use must to say that we believe something is certain. Yeah, we use must to say that we believe something is certain. Okay, when you are sure about something or when we are convinced that something is true. Very nice. Thank you. And what about can't? When do we use can't? Who can tell me? <laughs> Mm -hmm. When do we use can't? Nobody remembers. Impossible. When something is not possible. Okay, that's right. When we believe that something is impossible. Okay, when we are certain or convinced that something is impossible, then you use can't. Okay, so those are model auxiliaries. And yesterday we also said that model auxiliaries basically have two rules. Rule number one, they are always, always followed by a verb in base form, all the time, all the time. And rule number two, model auxiliaries don't have a special form for the subjects he, she, or it, okay? So it's the same for all subjects and they are always followed by a verb in base form. That never changes, okay? It stays the same all the time. So what are we going to do today? Well, we have to continue. We have to study models, but now we're going to uh, do something else, something different. So this is the lesson objective. By the end of this class, participants will know and practice how to use models to express permission, obligation and prohibition. You will see, take a look. Permission, sorry, yeah, permission, prohibition and 
obligation. That's the topic. When we want to express permission, prohibition, what is prohibition? Not allowing something, obligation or no obligation, we use modal verbs, okay? So the first part for this presentation is permission. When you want to express permission, you can use can, may, or could. All right, again, you can use can, may, or could. That's for permission. Now, if you take a look at this, can is most often used to ask for or give information, but may and could are also possible even though they are not used as often as can. And you have some examples. I need a volunteer to help me read the four examples, please. Who wants to read? Okay, Luis, please. Can I borrow a pen? Can I borrow a pen? Before we continue, what is the meaning of borrow? Mm -hmm. Well, yes and no. Okay, yes and no. Let's take a look at this. There are two verbs actually. One of them is lend. The other one is borrow. And there is a difference. Okay. The thing is, in Spanish and in El Salvador especially, we get confused. We get confused when we speak Spanish. We say, for example, imagine you're talking to a friend and you say, fíjese que no tengo dinero, así que me va a tocar prestar. Everybody talks like that, but in reality, that's incorrect. It should be, me va a tocar pedir prestado, que no es lo mismo. Prestar, es dar el dinero. Pedir prestado es recibir el dinero okay. en calidad de préstamo. Así que cuando decimos, no tengo dinero, voy a tener que prestar. No, en realidad es, voy a tener que pedir prestado. So that's the difference right here. There is lend and borrow. Lend is prestar. Borrow is pedir o tomar prestado. That's the difference. When you lend something, you give it to someone. When you borrow something, you receive it from someone. That's the difference. So if I say, can I borrow your pencil? I think that was the, no, can I borrow a pen? Sorry, a pen, you are asking for a favor. You say, can I borrow? Puedo tomar prestado, o puedo pedirte prestado, un bolígrafo, right? Can I borrow a pen? If you want to use the verb lend, then you have to say, can you lend me a pen? That's different. Me puedes prestar un bolígrafo. Can you lend me a pen? That's basically the difference between lend and borrow. Uh, do you, before we continue, do you understand the difference? Yes. Okay. Yes, teacher. Great. Okay. So uh, moving on, I'm going to minimize this. Can I borrow a pen? Okay. The next one. Okay. Uh, who can help me read it? I have some tea with me today. Okay, Sonia, please. Um, the second example. Sonia? Okay, you uh -huh. can sit here. The seat is free. Okay, thank you. You can sit here. The seat is free. Okay, you can. That means you have permission to, to, sit, to sit here because the seat is free. Now that I'm um, looking at this, I want to point out the difference in pronunciation between these two words. There is sit and seat, okay? Two words, they are different. When you pronounce this one, by the way, this is a verb and this is a noun. 
substantivo. So when you pronounce this one, you say sit, sit. It's the I sound and it's very short. You say sit, sit. For this, for this, sorry, for this word, you say seat, seat. It's a longer sound. It's the sound E, E, seat. Okay. So if somebody tells you, siéntese, por favor, they will tell you, please sit down using this word, sit, sit. The sound is E, sit. And the piece of furniture where you sit down is the seat. Okay. El asiento, right? Seat. So that's a difference in pronunciation right there. Moving on. So you can sit here. The seat is free. What about the next one? Who can help me read it, please? Estela. Could I open the window? That's right. Could I open the window? Good. You're asking for permission, for authorization to open the window. Thank you. And the last one, who wants to try? Practice your pronunciation and intonation. Last one, please. Olivia and Jenny for the next one. May, may I ask a question? May I ask a question? Thank you, Olivia. Yeah, that's right. Uh, Manuel also wants to participate. Well, we go for the next one, Manuel, I promise. So may I ask a question? You use may also to ask for permission. A los que hemos sido a clases de inglés eh, presenciales, ¿verdad? Nos han enseñado esta frase para cuando uno quiere ir al baño. ¿Qué, ¿Cómo pregunta uno? ¿Cuál es la frase? Mm -hmm. May I go to the bathroom, please? May I go to the bathroom or may I go to the restroom? Exactly. So when I say may I, that means I am asking for permission. Okay. So as you can see, to express permission, to give permission and ask for permission, you can use the models can, may, and could. All right, you see can right here. Can I borrow a pen? And you can sit here, the seat is free. You use could in this example, could I open the window? And you use may in this example, may I ask a question, etc. What are you going to do, okay? Um, you're going to be working in the breakout rooms, but let me check how many people exactly. I can see, okay, 14, so um, you'll be working in pairs, okay? I want you to work in pairs to do this. Your turn, complete the following questions using the model in parentheses. Example, you need help with your homework, so you ask a friend. Usted le dice a su amigo, could. ¿Cómo nos quedaría la primera? Vamos a ver. Ocupando la palabra could. Could you help me with my homework, please? That's right. Could you help me with my homework, please? Thank you, Michelle. Yeah, that's correct. That's how you're going to do it. Let me tell you about the breaker rooms. Let's see. Going to uh, seven. Okay. Room one, Manuel Aristides and Sonia Guadalupe. Room two, Alejandra Magaña and Olivia Osorio. Room three, Claudia Iraeta and Luis Alonso. Room four, Griselda Mendoza and Morena Medina. Room five, Estela Lara and Michelle Escobar. Room six, Gladys Campos and Rufino Amilcar. Room seven, Luis Enriquez and Jenny Sanchez. So I'm going to open the rooms now and I'm going to send this to you via WhatsApp. Okay, I want you to uh, complete the sentences or the questions, I'm sorry, using the model in parentheses. Okay, that's very important. You have to use the model in parentheses. Let's begin.
Okay, everybody, the picture is in WhatsApp. Uh, I want you to join the breakout rooms and start working on the exercise. I'm going to start visiting the groups one by one. Collection, please. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Can you see, Siri? Entonces, mm, not really. Hola. Not really. No. Let take a look. You want to see One your friend's person. stamp collection, so you ask. Ah, I can. Um, si puedo. Uh, question. Question. Yeah. Can Can I? Uh -huh. Can I see your? your stamp college please correct ah, okay okay mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and number three también es este pregunta yeah all of them are questions todos todos mm -hmm. all them all mm -hmm. them tendrían que iniciar todos con quién yeah o yeah. con cold mm -hmm. o may eh, con el con el modo que está en paréntesis con may ajá cabal yeah. o mm -hmm. cold o may mm -hmm. yeah. exactly okay mm -hmm. okay yeah. thank you okay welcome you. see you later see you later okay. Así que pregunto. Para sí, La pregunta sería: ¿Puedo? ¿Qué hay entonces? ¿Qué hay de Windows? ¿Qué hay open de Windows? ¿Qué hay open de Windows? Very good. Ok. I'm going to visit a different room now. See you later. Bye. Bye. Would you, would you want, could you want uh, um, to turn off the TV, please? Sí, me ha comido la want. Can you repeat that, please? Number number four. Number yeah. four. Could you want? Could you want to turn off the turn TV? Off the TV? Mm, too complicated. Let's see. You want your friend to turn off the TV. Lo que usted quiere es que su amigo o su amiga apague la tele. Entonces no vamos a ocupar want. Want. This is very uh, to turn off. Mm -hmm. Could you turn off the TV, please? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank mm -hmm. you. You're welcome. Okay, okay. Thank you. I'm going to go into a different room now. See you later. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Hello. Yes. I call to Ralph. I call. I call. Number four, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Veamos, como dice, you want your friend to turn off the TV. Lo que usted quiere es que su amigo o su amiga apague la tele. Entonces le va a preguntar, ¿cómo sería? Could you could turn off? You could no se puede porque es pregunta, tiene no. que ser al revés. Could you turn off the TV, please? Exactly. Could you turn mm -hmm. off the TV, please? Good. Very good. Could you turn the TV. Could you turn off the TV, please? Entonces quiere decir que la tres es pregunta también. Todas son preguntas. Estábamos mal. Can I see you? Can I open the window? 
Can I open the window? Mm -hmm. uh, can I open the window? Exactly. You can see you. Como, can see you como todas son preguntas, entonces todas comienzan con el módulo en paréntesis. Ah, uh, uh -huh. con los modales. Uh -huh. okay. okay, I'm going to visit Thank a different you. room now. See you in a few minutes. Okay, me. Thanks, teacher. Mínimo, ustedes ya terminaron. <laughs> Yes, teacher. yes, teacher. Me imaginaba. Okay, what about number six? Can you close the door? Hmm? Can you close the door? Falta la palabra please? mágica, please. <laughs> Can you close the door, please? Perfect. Okay, uh, I have to go to the next uh, breakout room. See you in a few minutes. Okay, teacher. In the in the meantime, you can speak in English. Come on, let's try to speak something in English. Have a conversation. Is, is the teacher is this uh, the 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 dialogue with with Mr. Mr. Gladys is uh, the second for me. This is you ask. For me, in the second is, can can I can I see can I see your stamp collection, please? No, 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 can no can you? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, uh, it's can I? Because can number I? two says you want to see your friend's stamp collection, so you ask, can I see your stamp collection, please? In the three, the same, the same, the three, mm. you ask, no? Uh, you, you ask, ask uh -huh, uh -huh. Tu pregunta, dice, si yo mm -hmm. pregunto, mm -hmm. es, if the same, I, can I, can I, uh, can I open the window? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Uh, I, we, fa, we, fa, uh, we must, debemos, we mm -hmm. must, we must, uh, to farm, to farm the sentence, the logical sentence. Uh -huh. We you must, we must find. Uh -huh. We must find the logic in the sentence. Okay. Mm -hmm. What about number four? You want your friend to turn off the TV. You ask. Uh, could, could, could I? Mm -mm. No. Not in this case. You ask. Uh, yeah, yeah. Because number four uh, is you want your friend to turn off the TV. Mm -hmm. Lo que usted quiere es que su amigo o su amiga apague la tele. You want your friend to turn off the TV. Ah, uh, yeah. Yes, uh, it's you. Uh -huh. uh, could, could you. Mm -hmm. could, could, could you turn off? That TV, please. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Good. Okay, I understand. Okay, I'm going to visit another room now. See you in a few minutes. Thank you. Okay, have you finished? No, not, not yet. yet. Okay, okay. Please, please continue. Let me hear you. Okay, thank you. You want to use your bathroom bathroom? You ask. May, may you. I? May I use your bathroom? Correct. May I use? May I use? See. Yes. Your bathroom. May I use? May I use your bathroom? Good. Okay, and what about number eight? You want a ride to the airport. You ask your friends. Can... Can, it... Can... Can you ride? Veamos lo que está ahí. Está el Can verbo you... give. Uh -huh. Can you give? Can you give? Sorry. Can you Can give? You give? Can you give? Uh -huh. 
one word is missing. Falta una palabra. Can you give? Can you me. give a ride? Can you give me? Can you give me? Uh -huh. A ride to the airport? Okay. There you go. You finished. Great. Okay, I'm going to close the breakout rooms now. See you in one minute. Everybody, I'm, I'm closing the breakout rooms now. I'll see you in one minute. Forty seconds. Ten seconds. Okay, everybody. Number one is you need help with your homework. You ask a friend. So could you help me with my homework, please? Manuel wants to participate. Number two, Manuel, Olivia, you'll take number three. Morena, you'll number... take number four. Sorry, Jenny, you take number five. Okay, Manuel. Okay, number two, can I see your stamp collection, please? Okay, can I see your stamp collection, please? Let's take a look. Yeah, okay, so you want to see your friend's stamp collection. So you ask, can I see your stamp collection, please? Very good. Thank you, Manuel. So, Olivia, Olivia, please, I want you to read the sentence before also. Okay, también me lee la oración que está antes. You want to open the window. You ask, mm -hmm. can. Uh, can I open the window? Absolutely. Can I open the window? Great. Very good. Can I open the window? Okay, number four. Thank you, Olivia. Morena. You want your friend to turn off the TV? Could you turn off the TV, please? Could you turn off the TV, please? That is correct. Very good. Thank you, Morena. Jenny, number five it is all yours. You want to take a cookie. You ask your friend, may I take a cookie? May I take a cookie? Correct. Very good. Thank you, Jenny. Estela, number six. You want your friend to close the, the door for you? Can you close, please? Can you? Uh -huh. Okay. Can, you, can close? you close the door, please? Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Can you close the door? Puede decir también for me, aunque no es necesario, pero se puede decir también. Can you close the door for me, please? Or simply, can you close the door, please? Very good. Thank you, Estela. Okay. Number seven. Who wants to participate? Acuérdense de bajar la manita después si no me confundo. <laughs> ya me perdí que no encuentro dónde bajarla. Ahí está. <laughs> okay, no problem. Okay, so number seven. Es que si no después me confundo yo me quedo, se le olvidó bajarla o quiere participar otra vez, no sé. Okay. Listo. <laughs> okay, thank you. Number seven, volunteers, please. Una persona distinta porque siempre me participan los mismos. Lo cual yo digo... Genial, excelente, pero quiero escuchar a los demás también. Imelda. You want to use your friend bathroom. Mm -hmm. May I use your bathroom? 
Mm -hmm. Yeah. May I use your bathroom? Totally. Thank you, Imelda. That is correct. And number eight, the last one. Volunteer, please. Who wants to try? Uh huh. Griselda. Okay. Uh, you want a ride to? Sorry. You can arrive to the airport. You ask your friend. The I can. Can I mm -hmm. give you ride to the airport? Well, not can I, because this is the not thing. Can. You you want a ride to the airport. Usted quiere un aventón al aeropuerto. So you want to ride to the airport. So you ask a friend. Le va a pedir el amigo que le dé a usted un aventón al aeropuerto. Entonces sería. Can you give to? Can you no. give? Can you give? Right to the airport. Casi, casi. Solo falta una palabra. Can you give? Me. Ajá. Mm. Sería entonces. Can you give me a ride to the airport? That's right. Can you give me a ride to the airport? Okay. That is great. Very good. Everybody, thank you for your participation. Thank you very much. So, yeah, those are the sentences using the models in parentheses. Very nice. Let's continue. Let's see. Now, models of prohibition. Take a look. Can't and must, mustn't, I'm sorry, which is uh, the short form of must not, are used to show that something is prohibited. That means not allowed. And you have three examples. You can't go into that restaurant without a tie. It's a very elegant restaurant. If you want to be admitted inside, you need to wear a tie. It's an obligation. Okay? It's a requirement. Es un requisito, ¿verdad? So you can't go into that restaurant without a tie. So if I, today, right, I'm not wearing a tie. If I want to go into the restaurant, there will be a person at the door and will tell me, no, sorry. If you want to uh, enter the restaurant, you need to wear a tie. That's the rule, okay? So I use can't to express a prohibition, right? You can't go into that restaurant without a tie. The second one, you can't drive in this country unless you are over 18. No puedes manejar en este país a menos que seas mayor de 18. In El Salvador, you can do it. You need a special permit or a special license, okay? In El Salvador, it's possible, but in other countries, it is not. You need to be 18 to drive in some countries. So that's another prohibition. And the last one, you mustn't use your phone in class. So if you're in class, don't use the phone, okay? You must not use the phone in class. But now, take a look at this. There is a difference in meaning. Hay una pequeña diferencia en significado. Mucho ojo. Can't usually gives the idea of something that is against the rules. Can't nos da la idea de que algo va contra las reglas. ¿Ok? Contra las reglas. Again, can't usually gives the idea of something that is against the rules. What about this one? Mustn't usually means that it's the speaker who is setting the rule. ¿Qué pasa cuando ocupamos mustn't? Que es más que todo una regla a nivel un poco más personal, porque es el hablante el que está decidiendo lo que se puede hacer y lo que no se puede hacer. ¿Ok? Por darles un ejemplo, si usted va al aeropuerto, en los aeropuertos hay una serie de reglas bien estrictas, por cierto, por seguridad aeroportuaria, ¿verdad? Hay unas reglas muy estrictas. Entonces, ¿qué se utilizaría en ese caso? ¿Can't o mustn't? Can't. 
can't. Así es, porque hay unas reglas que ya están establecidas. Si usted le dice, usted no puede hacer esto, no puede hacer aquello, no puede hacer aquí, no puede hacer allá. You have to use can't. But what about the classroom? Si vamos a hablar de las reglas, por ejemplo, del programa de Insaforp, entonces, de nuevo, habría que decir can't. Si estamos hablando de prohibiciones, porque no soy yo quien las ha establecido. Pero si yo le digo, mire, en mi clase no puedo ocupar el celular porque mala onda. Entonces, ahí le digo mustn't. ¿Ok? Porque es una regla que yo, como el hablante, estoy estableciendo. Uh -huh. So, you have two examples right here. You can't touch the ball with your hand when you're playing soccer. That's a rule. If you're playing soccer, if you're playing football, right? You can't touch the ball with your hand. If you do that, eh, okay, there is a problem. The referee will show you a card. What about the second example? You mustn't speak during the exam. You mustn't speak during the exam. Now, this is a rule by a teacher. If you're in an exam and you're talking, the teacher will say, hey, 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 you mustn't speak during the exam. So it's a prohibition. Okay. Before we continue, do you understand? Estela. Quiero ver si entendí. O sea, que can't es como um, las reglas, cuando las reglas ya están establecidas, digamos, por cierta asociación. Mm -hmm. Pero más es cuando, digamos, en, en este caso, digamos que usted las prohibi la prohibiese, seríamos. Porque digamos que es usted así. Mm -hmm. el, que, el que habla es que está estableciendo la regla. Ok. Entonces mm -hmm. sí entendí. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Ahí se utiliza mustn't. Good. Let's talk about obligation. Let's take a look. Obligation. When you need to express obligation, you use have to and must. Ok. Ahora, si usted se fija, los modos pueden tener diferentes usos. Por ejemplo, ya habíamos visto must ayer para expresar que estábamos seguros que algo era cierto o que algo es verdadero. Ahora vamos a ver must para expresar obligación. O sea, los modos muchas veces, o sea, no solamente tienen un uso, sino que tienen varios usos y tenemos que saber diferenciarlos. Por lo general, ese uso se... Bueno, eh, uno puede saber la diferencia por medio del contexto. So let's take a look. Obligation. You use have to and must. They are both used to express obligation. And you have some rules. Some, ah, sorry. <laughs> I'm sleepy. We have some uh, sentences here, some examples. Volunteer, who can help me read it, please? The first one. ¿Quién me ayuda a leer? Please, please, please. Stella, then Sonia. Okay, then Paola. Okay, Estela number one, Sonia number two, Paola number three, please. We have to be at the airport at the... At least. At least. Mm -hmm. Two or before the flight. Mm -hmm. We have to be at the airport at least two hours before the flight. Por lo menos dos horas antes del vuelo, okay? Lo podemos perder. So we have to be at the airport at least two hours before the flight. All right. Very good. Uh, let's see. Paola. I have to work on Saturday. I have to work on Saturday. Okay. It's an obligation. I have to work on Saturday. Do you have to work on Saturday, Paola? No. Not really. <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> Are, are you a student or do you have a job? A uh, job. Ah, okay. Uh, the, uh, Monday to uh, Friday. Monday to Friday. Okay, good. Lucky you. Okay, que suerte. <laughs> okay. No, I have to teach on Saturdays. I never rest. Yeah, to be a teacher is difficult. You have to work a lot. You have to teach a lot of classes. Okay, so um, thank you. So I have to work on Saturdays. Let me ask you, let's see. Uh, Jenny, do you have to work on Saturdays? No, teacher, I oh. rest. Okay, oh. that's good. <laughs> Imelda, do you have to work on Saturdays? 
Yes, I have to also Sunday. Also Sundays, okay, all right. Yeah. So Imelda has to work on Saturdays and Sundays. Veamos esto. Have to. Aquí vamos a hacer, digámoslo así, una pequeña diferencia o vamos a puntualizar una diferencia cuando ocupamos have to. Cuidado con have to, funciona como un model pero este sí tiene una forma especial para he, she, it. Ok, así que decimos con I, you, we, and they, we use have to. If the subject is he, she, or it, we use has to. Ok. Be very careful right there. Aquí tenemos una excepción de lo que habíamos hablado hace un par de días y ayer también y hoy otra vez. Have to funciona como un modo de auxiliary, pero sí tiene una forma especial para he, she, and it, que sería has to. Y aquí digo yo, por ejemplo, Imelda has to work on Saturdays and Sundays. Ok. Imelda has to work. She has to work. Ok. All right. Morena, do you have to work on Saturdays? Mm, no. Not really. Ok. No, really. <laughs> ok. Lucky you. <laughs> Sonia, <laughs> do you have to work on Saturdays? No, teacher. Ah, that's so good. Okay. <laughs> Luis Alonso, do you have to work on Saturdays? Yes, teacher. All week. All week. And Sundays All too? Week. On Sundays too. Oh, my God. Because the cow don't stop. The, they give a milk. Ah, okay. Ah, okay. <laughs> good, good. All right. Claudia, do you have to work on Saturdays? Yes, teacher. And Sundays too? No, Sunday no. Okay, all right. Let's see. Um, Gladys, do you have to work on Saturdays? Your microphone, Gladys, el micrófono. Yes, teacher. Do you work Saturdays and Sundays too? Uh, yes. Uh, uh, so Words, uh, Monday, mm -hmm. uh, Friday. From Monday to Friday, so every day of the week. Yes. Wow, okay, that's the difficult job. Thank you, Gladys. How about you, Amilcar? Do you have to work on Saturdays? Yes, I have to work on Saturday. In, and Sundays too? In, two, so in Sunday too. Wow, okay, that's hard work. How about you, Olivia? Do you have to work on Saturdays? No, really. Only in home. Alone no pie. Okay, at home. <laughs> okay. Do, doing the housework. Okay. Yes. Okay. You work at an orem. <laughs> okay, everybody, thanks for your participation. Oh, we have more, but we don't have much time. Well, this, uh, Manuel Aristides and Michelle. Well, I'm going to ask. Okay, Manuel, do you have to work on Saturdays? Um. No, Not Saturday, really? Saturday and Sunday are my rest day. Okay, that's good. How about you, Michelle? Do you have to work on Saturdays? No, teacher. Not really. Okay. Uh, are you a student or do you have a job too? I'm not a student and I'm unemployed. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, you have a lot of time. <laughs> That's great. Okay. Um, let's see. Alejandra, I didn't ask you. Okay. Alejandra, do you have to work on Saturdays? No, I don't have to work on Saturdays. Okay. Not really. Okay. Well, so uh, going back to this, remember with the subject is I, you, we, or they, okay, we use have to. Okay. If the subject is he, she, or it, you use has to, okay? 
very important. So the third example, they have to wear their uniforms at school. In El Salvador, this is the rule. If you go to school, you have to wear a uniform. A menos que hay alguno que yo no conozca en el que no haya que llevar, pero que yo sepa, todos los colegios hay que llevar, que yo sepa. They have to wear a uniform at school, okay? In uh, the United States, for example, when, when kids go to public schools, they don't have to wear a uniform. It's not an obligation, okay? But in El Salvador, yeah, okay, they have to wear a, their uniforms at school. The next one, I must hand in my thesis by tomorrow. We have hand in. Hand in means entregar, okay? Debo entregar mi tesis mañana. So I must hand in my thesis by tomorrow. We have to finish this report today. It's an obligation. We need to do it. It's a strong necessity. It's, it's necessary. And I must be a good citizen. Debo ser un buen ciudadano, right? I must be a good citizen. So as you can see right here, you can use have to and must to express obligation. Now look at this. Aquí es donde se pone un poquito más complicado. Siempre fácil, pero un poquito más complicado. So don't have to versus mustn't. Podríamos cometer el error, y mucho cuidado acá, de decir, bueno, si have to y must se utilizan ambos para expresar obligación, entonces los negativos deben ser iguales también, ¿verdad? Para decir lo contrario. Pero no exactamente. Fíjense bien en esto. Don't have to versus mustn't. We use don't have to to show that there is no obligation. You can do something if you want, but it is not an obligation. It's optional, okay? For example, you don't have to wear a tie to go to that restaurant, but it will be nice, ¿verdad? No tienes que ponerte una corbata para ir al restaurante, pero sería bueno ¿verdad? que te la pusieras. However, it's not an obligation. Wearing a tie is optional. So if I want to go to the restaurant like this, look at me right now. If I want to go to the restaurant like this, is there a problem? What do you think? If I want to go to the restaurant like this right now, everybody look at me. And if I go to the restaurant, it, will, will there be a problem? Habría problema? No. No. I think no. No, there's no problem. No, no, no problem. problem. And if I wear a tie, will there be a problem? No. No. No problem. Because it's optional. That's why you say you don't have to. No tienes que, es decir, no es necesario. Si quiere hacerlo, está bien, pero si no quiere, también está bien, no hay problema. So you don't have to wear a tie to go to that restaurant. The second example. Students don't have to wear uniforms to school. That means wearing a uniform is optional. There is a uniform. If you want to wear it, good. If you don't want to wear it and you want to use your own clothes, good, no problem. Okay, it's optional. Now, be very careful. We use mustn't to show that something is not permitted. Okay, al igual que can't, mustn't es para expresar prohibición. Algo que no está permitido. Ahí no hay opciones. Ahí es no, no lo vaya a hacer. So, you mustn't wear shorts to go to that restaurant. That means wearing shorts is not permitted. If you try to enter the restaurant wearing shorts, Sí, como ando yo ahorita. No se ve, pero así ando. Okay, so if you want to go to the restaurant wearing shorts, somebody at the door will tell you, no, sorry, you can't enter. It's not permitted. Okay. Al que lo detiene uno en esos lugares se le conoce en inglés como el bouncer. Vamos a poner acá. Bouncer. El que está ahí a la entrada y le dice a uno, no, no puede pasar. That's the bouncer. So, 
That means, uh, again, you mustn't wear shorts to go to that restaurant. Wearing shorts is not permitted, okay? Second example, you mustn't speak during the exam. Speaking during the exam is prohibited. Si usted algún día va a hacer un examen bien serio, digamos, eh, pasa todos los cursos de inglés y va a ser que, por darle un ejemplo, el TOEFL o el TOEIC. Son unos exámenes ya de otro nivel, ¿verdad? Le van a ser bien claros ahí. Las reglas son, son clarísimas. Y le van a decir, you mustn't speak during the exam. Está prohibido, right? Speaking during the exam is prohibited. You can't. You must not. So that's the thing. So take a look. Mientras que have to y must, prácticamente tiene un significado idéntico. Expresan que algo es obligatorio. Las formas en negativo que son don't have to y mustn't tienen significados diferentes. Acuérdense, don't have to expresa que algo es opcional. Si usted quiere hacerlo bien y si no lo quiere hacer, también está bien. No hay ningún problema. Pero mustn't es prohibición. Ahí no hay opción. Okay. Now, speaking of this. Les había dicho, ¿verdad? Que con I, you, we, and they, we use have to. The negative form is don't have to. Going to. Okay, don't have to. That's the negative form. Then with the subjects he, she, and it, the affirmative form is has to. The negative form is, what sería? Quiero ver. ¿Quién me puede decir? Hasn't. Not really. Okay. It's a bit different. Sorry. <laughs> It's a bit different. Veamos, si con I, you, we, and they is don't, ¿cómo será don't con he, she? No, not really. No. Nah. Doesn't have to. Doesn't. Okay. Doesn't have to mm -hmm. doesn't have to yeah así es doesn't have to is present simple y si recordamos la regla del present simple acuérdese que después de doesn't usted va a ocupar un verbo en forma base si es afirmativa ocupe has pero si es negativa doesn't have no me vaya a poner porfa Aquí entre comillas doesn't has. This is wrong. Okay. Eso está incorrecto. Okay. This is correct. Doesn't have to. Si me pone doesn't has, ahí estamos mal. Más, te lo voy a quitar. Okay. So what are we going to do? This is, this is going to be the last exercise today. Let's see. Okay. Choose the correct words to complete the sentences. We're going to, I'm going to ask for participants. So volunteers, number one, mustn't or don't have to? Raise your hand, please. Michelle. You don't have to apologize. It is unnecessary. That's right. You don't have to apologize. It is unnecessary. What's the meaning of apologize, by the way? Disculparse. Disculparse o pedir disculpas. Okay. You must, you don't have to apologize. It is unnecessary. Thank you, Michelle. Very good. What about number two, volunteers? Number two, Francisco. Yes, uh, you mustn't tell the boss what happened or he will, will fire you. He will fire you. You mustn't fire tell you? the boss what happened or he will fire you. Okay, no debes decirle al jefe lo que pasó o te va a despedir. He will fire you. Mm -hmm. 
That's it, fire. It's a verb. Despedir. As a noun, it means fuego, of course, right? And also disparar, fire. You shoot, okay? But uh, what is the opposite of fire? ¿Cuál es lo, lo contrario? ¿A uno lo despiden o lo? What is the okay. opposite? Lo contratan. Uh -huh. what, is the, what is the opposite of fire? Fire. I'm sorry? Fire. Higher. Así es. Solo una letra es la diferencia. Higher, contratar. Fire, despedir. Higher, fire. Okay. Thank you, Francisco. And Alejandra, thank you also for your participation. Number three, who wants to try? Jenny. I don't have to wear a tie. I do it because I like wearing ties. Mm -hmm. I don't have to wear a tie. I do it because I like wearing ties. Thank you, Jenny. That's correct. Number four, volunteer, please. Number four, Imelda. Uh, you mustn't smoke in here. The smoking is not allowed. Not allowed. Correct. Thank you, Imelda. You mustn't smoke in here. Smoking is not allowed. Okay, smoking is not allowed. Inside of a bus, for example, smoking is not allowed. Okay, good. Number five, who wants to try? Paola. I don't have to be late. It's the most important meeting of the year. But it's a very important meeting. So? I mustn't. I mustn't. Mm -hmm. No debo llegar tarde porque es la reunión más importante del año. So, I mustn't be late. It's the most important meeting of the year. Si utilizamos, I don't have to be late, suena como opcional. ¿Puedo llegar tarde o no? <laughs> no, pero en este caso es muy importante. Así que, I mustn't be late. It's the most important meeting of the year. Thank you, Paola. Number six, volunteer, please. Who wants to try? Olivia. You don't have to go now. You can stay a little longer. Mm -hmm. That's right. When you have visitors in your house, you say, hey, you don't have to go now. You can stay a little longer. Te puedes quedar un rato más. Eh? You can stay a little, a little longer. Very good. Thank you, Olivia. Number seven. Volunteer, please. Number seven. Morena. Uh, the, the microphone, Morena, sorry. Visitor to the zoo mustn't feed the animal. Okay, visitors to the zoo mustn't feed the animals. Feed the animal. That's right, it's prohibited. Okay, thank you, Morena, that's correct. Sonia will help us with number eight. You mustn't uh, try to fast. We have a lot of time. You sure? Because it's, we have a lot of time, so. Don't, don't have to. Don't have to. That is, it's okay. not necessary. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. You don't have to drive so fast. So. We have a lot of time. Okay. So, hey, slow down. Okay. Slow down. It's, it's not necessary for you to, you know, drive so fast. Thank you, Sonia. Number nine. Who wants to try number nine, please? Number nine, raise your hand, please. Let's participate. Claudia. We don't have to cook more. There is enough food. We don't have to cook more. There's enough food. Okay, so cooking more is not necessary. Thank you, Claudia. That is correct. Very good. Okay, and number 10, 
who wants to try number 10? Number 10. Number 10, number 10, number 10, number 10, number 10, number 10. The last one. Okay, Jenny. <laughs> you mustn't put salt in, in her food. The doctor said she can't eat salt. Exactly. You mustn't put salt in her food. The doctor said she can't eat salt. Okay. Peligroso. Le va a caer mal. Le va a caer. Le va a hacer daño. So, yeah, that's correct. Thank you, Jenny. Very good. All right. Now, uh, before we finish, um, just to give you an idea of this, the platform. Okay. Let's see, everybody, um, in the platform, I want you to complete this part, which is permission, prohibition, and obligation, which is 4.8, and then 4.9, which is the knowledge check, okay? I need help in the section five, part C. Uh, section five, for next section. Section five, section five, part C. Section part C. Part C. Mm -hmm. Part three. The last, the, the last, the last, uh, the session. last section. Okay. The last session. You mean the final three. Three. Part, part, C. part C. Part C and the SSI. Pero de cuál sería? Four, uh, five. The, the last, the, the only exercise, only exercise, the last. The last one. The last, the last. Um... Ah, but you mean the, the exam? Yeah. Ah. Yes, teacher, the, the exam has a, a little trouble. Ah, the reading. Since 2020. Sería el, quiero ver. Ya han por el examen. Todavía no llegamos hasta ahí, pero bueno. Okay, me parece que es rewrite sentences. Esta sí, parte. Sí, sí, re... <laughs> hmm. Vaya, miren. No, no, no. Es que tiene inconsistencias y yo lo reporté porque estaba revisando que incluso desde el 2020 está ese problema. Ah, de verdad. The two, uh -huh. the, sí, the... Y la siguiente parte no aparece el, la imagen que hay que leer. Uh -huh. Eso sí, de eso sí estoy consciente. No está la imagen. Para este caso y bueno, como no es eh, culpa de ustedes, por supuesto. No, la otro, lo otro tampoco es culpa de ustedes. Eh, Ahí me fui a el yo, no, <ríe> yo no tengo en realidad la imagen tampoco. No sé dónde está este reading. Así Before que. This is for me. <ríe> ajá. En, en este caso, ajá. pues vamos a compartir las respuestas por acá. Porque, o sea, pues no lo vamos a sacar mal si no es culpa de ustedes que no esté. Pero todavía falta, no se preocupen. Al Team Marín. No, no, al Team Marín no. No, pero vamos, vamos a compartir esto. No, este no es, no es... <ríe> Ni modo. Ok, mm. bueno, vamos a ver esto. Voy a, voy a resolver esto parte eh, ahora. Aunque esto lo podemos ver todavía la otra semana, pues todavía nos falta. Ok, eh, ok. Pero sí, vamos, vamos a darle atención a esta parte. Ok. All right, everybody. Um, thank you for your participation and thank you for your patience. Okay, I will see you tomorrow. Take good care and good night. See you tomorrow, teacher. Good night. Good night. Bye bye.